We'll just call this a uh, COVID buy. Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel and you're watching Triple R Farms. It is Wednesday, January the uh, 5th. And uh, I got a couple of jobs going on today. Me and PA gonna be working on the CP690. He is taking the spindles out. Uh, so we're gonna move it out there on the concrete pad. We're gonna work on that uh, radiator hoses. We're gonna replace all those that I picked up. Uh, I have not gotten a radiator cap. Dad's gonna try to pick up that today. Uh, James and Mark, they're working on the planter, uh, still taking stuff off of it on the second planter. And uh, then I think eventually Mark is going to be uh, knocking spindles out, knocking the spindle out of the little nut and uh, bushing. And uh, we're going to be saving those and uh, doing it ourselves this year. So uh, got a couple of projects we're working on today. So I hope you all enjoy the video. Let's get it started. That one will spin, but it was getting really, really tight. And that one right there just spins around the room. You can keep going on this one, be the person who gets it out, but it's just uh, what the hell? Boogered up already. So what do we decide? How many did you take out? Eight. All right. So what we did is. Dad went through here and he does the whole finger cut. Anyway, so the bottom eight uh, were worn, so we took out the bottom eight all the way across. What, what about the back? Did you look at the back? I've so, already looked at the back. I think we're good. Don't have to do anything? So you got the same thing on the back. Uh, it's just a second row of spindles. Our second unit unit of spindles or whatever but anyway all those were sharp so we're doing nothing to the back because all the picking is usually done right there first first spindles always do most of the picking the back just uh, basically cleans up what, what is left still on the stalk Radiator cap, not cap, radiator hoses. There's one right there where my light's shining. But then you got another one. Where did that go? It goes right here. There's that one. No, it, it's this metal right there. It's, all right, we can get to these two right here. Probably got to take off something. Yeah, you can get to it right here. That's the other end of it where my light is. Yeah, all right, those two, we don't have to take off anything. No more doors. This side? No, that one's all right. heavy one handed. Where was the other one? Is that that one? I guess that's that one right there. I didn't think I ordered that one but I guess I did. Looks Looks like it's going to be easy. I hope it's going to be easy, but we will see. Uh, but at least we can get to everything pretty much uh, without taking anything else off. But uh, we'll see. Never is as easy as it seems. But three hoses we're going to put on. Give you a recap on uh, why we're putting these on. If you uh, didn't watch the videos the last time I was picking cotton with this, um, I was always having the issue of it 
on the verge of running hot i was having to actually slow my ground speed to like four miles an hour 4.2 just to keep it from uh, running hot and we never knew why it was running hot it had plenty of water in the reservoir uh just were real puzzled on why then we finally figured out uh just happened to take a cover off and it was back there in the back of the engine and i noticed one of these hoses right here was um sucked flat and then i did some investigating looking around the flashlight and basically all the radiator hoses that i could get my eyes on were sucked flat so we knew we had an issue thought it was maybe the hoses had gotten old over time and just not as strong and they were just sucking flat but then we had a somebody tell us about check the radiator cap on the uh, reservoir sometimes they can go faulty and uh it won't be venting properly and that'll cause everything to go flat so that's where we are uh that is what's happening and uh like i said i think dad's gonna order a new radiator cap and then we are gonna put on new, new hoses and hopefully that will solve the whole issue of the picker running hot for next year Come down. I might have to have a flathead to pry it out. She might miss it now. Yeah. Alright. It's green. Should I cut it off? I'll just leave it open. Leave it open. Alright, I think we're done. So what was that? 5, 10, 15. Like 17 gallons. Of uh, water slash radiator. I mean, uh, water slash antifreeze. Alright. Now we can finally get started on taking off the old hoses and uh, putting the new ones on and uh, let's do a time lapse. So we've gotten one end loose right there where my flashlight's shining and uh, now we're having trouble with that bottom piece. PA has pulled out the famous straps. <laughs> we're going to do a strap method. He's going to try to force it to come up with that strap. Let's see how it works. I was about to say, I need to spray it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gotten hot. <laughs> it came off. Hose number one. Yeah, we can leave them up. Man, that backside is 
Not on there. Oh, so close. So close. If I can get it started. Hey, that looks good. That's close. The bottom looks good. So get angry with this thing. You gotta do. You gotta bow up. Get mad at it. Force it on. Oh my gosh, I got it. I think. I think it's on there, but it's barely on there. Whatever we do from this point on better be very easy. It's on there, isn't it? Holy cow. Told you it was gonna be a lot harder than it looks. It always is. Pipe number one. Those are all old ones. Yeah. See these, we replace these when we have little, when they're messed up around the outer edges right there and they don't seal up against the disc, right? And they're no good. Like that right there. And that's the missing piece. Putting the new ones on. Dad is uh, currently at John Deere. He's getting a price on uh, the spindles that I was talking about. Mark was, he started knocking them out. This is what it looks like. This is a naked spindle. This is the bushing and the nut that comes off of it. So it would go like that. And then you have the little collar that holds it all on. So all that would slide up on there. Anyway, uh, just for this, spindle right here it was like five dollars and 35 cents uh you can get it all together like a all oh, this is already made put on there like this and your collar's already on there all of that together like this you can buy also it was like seven dollars and 35 and i think he's even getting a better price than that right now but um Anyway, it makes more sense for us just to go ahead and buy it, already put all together, rather than Mark spend, you know, one week sitting there knocking spindles out and uh, knocking these pieces off, and then we got to knock them back on. So a lot, a lot of labor, and um, it just wasn't worth the money uh, that we were trying to save. wasn't going to really pay for the, the even labor. We'll just call this a uh, COVID buy. Uh, when you are trapped in your bedroom for days and days and days in uh, quarantine, that's where I do all my editing in my bedroom. I've got a desk set up in there, and I got my Mac desktop computer, and I guess just I gave in. You just sit there, look up stuff on the computer, and you make random buys. But this thing right here, it is very expensive, but it is well made best way to describe it it is like the yeti coolers of uh dog kennels it is a uh, gunner kennels <laughs> where where'd you get to hopefully you got it all done right i had just gotten the second one off required cutting straps all kind of stuff let's see third one right here take those two off slip it on i think i'll work on that one it's the easiest
All right, there is the new cap. We are full. He's gonna crank it up and um, we'll see what happens. Wish us luck. Go ahead. This thing was about to close up on me. Did y'all see that? It scared me half to death. I thought this whole baler was about to squeeze me. I'm in a little tight area. Woo! You don't tighten it too tight. Just barely. You go till it stops. Right there. I've had some people on the channel, uh, they were asking about the wheat, what I was going to spray on it uh, as far as herbicides and stuff. Kind of a long story, I really do not know yet. Um, I had what I thought I was going to spray and then we uh, realized that I had a lot of poana out here kind of little patchy green grass called poana some people call it bluegrass but anyway we've got a lot of that this year and um so i was going to spray a chemical called osprey like the bird osprey and uh something that bayer makes anyway come to find out that uh they do not have a lot of that out there actually they have hardly zero well we could not find the first gallons and uh so now we're backtracking trying to figure out what we can spray in place of that because the first available is going to be in february we're seeing what if we can spray something else uh in the place of that or we're going to tr try to just wait till uh first of february to attack the poana so it's kind of where i am so i don't really know yet i guess that's the long story short uh but you will find out because i've got to do something here in the next week anyway that's where we are on the wheat and then after i do spray that we've had no nitrogen out here so once we get the herbicide sprayed we'll be applying the 28005 liquid nitrogen and uh we'll be putting i think 30 to 40 pounds out there so uh herbicides first then the nitrogen but that's where we are on the wheat i just i was coming through here and it just kind of jogged my memory so there you go all right let's go check on the timber crew
Well guys, that is gonna be it for this video. We are out of time. Uh, what we're gonna be doing the rest of the day is just putting in spindles. Dad picked them up at John Deere. Anyway, we're gonna be putting those in on the CP690 and then we're also going to do the hydraulic filters and air filters and then we're going to call it a day. So hope y'all enjoy the video. We are out and we'll see you on the next one guys.